Open Rail Designer Horizontal Regression. So I have my terrain model and my aerial photography referenced in. I'm now going to attach my track survey points. And here they are in yellow. And it was just a simple X, Y, Z point file. I can go to my rail task menu. And I need to sort the points. I need to know a direction. Is it going up the screen or down the screen? So I need to select all the points. I'm just going to open a window to make it a bit clearer so I can see my survey points. Select the sort point command. It tells me how many points have been added. And then it's going to ask me for the first point and the second to get a direction and then some tolerances which I can set. So that's done. So I have my sorted line now. And just for clarity, let's just turn off my survey point file. And what we can now do is display a curvature diagram. And again, I'm just going to pick view eight. And this is going to show me where my straights and curves and spirals appear. So I can use this to do my horizontal regression. So I go to my regression tool, single, pick my curvature line, and now I can just zoom in. And it's asking me for a first point. I need to select the first point and the second, which in this case is the last, and then a bandwidth. Which points do I want to include? Anything inside will go yellow, anything outside will be white. So I'm just going to select those and I just move along my alignment, selecting the straights and the curves. So that was my first curve. This is my second straight. And you can see on the plan it's tracking where I am and what points are being selected. And I get to the last straight, and I'll just select all the way along here and pick those. So now I have a straights and curves regress using single element regression. So let's just turn off some levels. And you can see I have my straight curve, straight curve, and going through. What I now need to do is create what we call a complex element. I'm going to set the automatic, the gap to be 300, because I've got some very large gaps here. And I'll just set a feature definition. So I pick my first element, accept it. And I now have straights and curves with a feature definition applied. I can now add in complex spirals between and this is where I would actually set the name. So this was South Track. Pick my first element and now I have straight curves and spirals. So finally I could look at a report just open my view. And I get my standard reporting. And here I can see the points and the slows.